What's up guys, Terrace Lewis with Lewis Helps. Quick video today. Wanted to show you guys how to ensure everything behind the walls is taken care of, things you need to consider before you button up your property. So we're at that stage in the rehab where it's that time. So follow me, I'm gonna show you guys inside. Let's take a look. You uh, are gonna start closing up walls, you're gonna start putting flooring down, you're gonna start painting. So a little noisy inside, but I wanted to show you guys a few things to consider and think about as you're buttoning up your property. It's a, uh, one of those points in your rehab where you need to be thinking about what's behind the walls. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So here we have cabinetry, we had an old washer and dryer here. Um, we relocated the washer and dryer over there. So things that you need to be thinking about in this area where your kitchen would be, would be uh, this is very important. Um, there's been houses that I've buttoned up and they've actually had both of these as hot connected to your plug. So when what that means is when you turn on your light switch, both of these will actually control that light switch. When the reality is you need this top one to go to your garbage disposal and the bottom one to go for your dishwasher. So these are things you need to be thinking about before they put your install your cabinets, reinstall your floors, and uh, start buttoning this property up. You just want to kind of do a one over, see where your cabinets are going to go, make sure that your sink is going to be placed where your uh, window is, where your light would be, and make sure that your outlets are going to be in a proper place that they need to be. Same with your stove. You've got two gas lines here. Um, of course, they have different appliances here. They have different things that will go. So you need to establish which gas line you're going to use for your property. Make sure that you have an outlet for your over-the-range microwave and also for your stove. So these are some things that you can consider. Um, you can see before, this is one thing that they did not uh, have installed. Also, they did not have that correct. So those were some of the things that we had to repair and remind the contractor of because they're go, go, go. So they, those are things that you need to think of. So this is one thing that we had to add and uh, we did just show our dedicated line. Let me show you one other thing. When you start moving things around before we had a vanity here and then a tight toilet, it was a small situation that didn't make much of a sense, makes much sense. So one thing that's very, very important that you have to consider is this placement right here. You want to make sure that you, of course, you want to look at what's code for your city, but you know, you want to make sure that when you have your toilet, your toilet bowl hole is, or your drain is actually lined up perfectly where it needs to be. We have a beam that's going right here. So it looks like they're prolonging. I'm putting this off what needs to be done here, but we actually need this to come back a couple of inches. So imagine we didn't uh, do this. We butted everything up, we tiled it in, and now you've got to squeeze by to get into your shower which would be very awkward. So just one other thing to think about, living rooms, bathrooms, also your GFI outlets around your plug, around your sinks. Um, you know, we've got one here. Uh, just making sure all these things are in place before you button things up, before you start tiling, putting in flooring, and installing your bathrooms. Hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to like for more videos and more tips and tricks on all things real estate. Thanks for following. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Um,